To say the end of 2009 was a bit weird and blurry for Aerosmith would be an understatement, you know. So, but yeah. as of today, everything seems to be in its right place. So, what makes things change suddenly? I'm not sure. I really, I really can't say. Uh, I don't know why things, uh, you know, like it, it wasn't just the last uh, couple of months before we decided to uh, get back together. It had been going on for about a year. And uh, um, it was just the, uh, you know, I just have to scratch my head and wonder, you know. I mean, uh, uh, um, after the band uh, had to cancel the tour, that we did, mm -hmm. and then we came back and did those four shows. Uh, we did the Hawaii show, and then we did Abu Dhabi, and uh, uh, the band. And then the band was playing great, and, uh, and then Steven saying he was going to go off and do the solo thing, and uh, it really kind of uh, it was a lot of turmoil, you know. And yeah. I'm from the outside, I know it was very confusing, and I have to tell you, it was just as confusing inside. So uh, I'm just glad that uh, it's, uh, it's, it's back together. And, uh, you know, really, up, up until about a month ago, I really did not know what was going to be uh, the, the future of Aerosmith. You know, um, all I know is that uh, the four of us wanted to keep playing. And uh, fortunately, I had my, uh, my uh, solo thing uh, on deck. And... Yeah. Uh, I was able to, to uh, get out there and play. And, uh, you know, Stephen decided he wanted to come back and, and sing, and uh, we have all these gigs lined up, and uh, and I'm just glad to be able to start touring again in, in Europe. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, but there was nothing that made the change really specifically, you know, like uh, it was like, yeah, Stephen just decided he wanted to, to go back, and, and that was it, yeah? Yeah, I can't. I really can't put my finger on. It. I don't know him. I can't get inside his head. I've tried yeah. for forty years, but I can't. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, you know, I just have to. Uh, it's just uh, just look at it as life and uh, the ups and downs of uh, keeping a band together for that long. Okay, okay. And um, but yeah, and but was there uh, like um, a big issue at some point between Steven and the rest of the band? You know, because uh, you know because of anything, maybe because of the injuries he got on the last tour. Maybe he was like wanted to 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 go away for a while or something. I don't know. Yeah. Could be. You know, uh, I'm really not sure. I, you know, I mean, it's the kind of thing where uh, uh, I think. A, 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 a lot of things uh, led up to uh, to uh, the way things went. I don't know. No. You know, uh, I just look at every gig as a uh, as a gift, and uh, so I, I give it everything I got, and uh, I'm just glad the band's back together. Okay, okay, I'm glad to. <laughs> though, though I am going to miss playing uh, with my own band. Because the uh, the band's uh, been playing great, and uh, I'm going to get to do that uh, that go with that company for that tour in England, and uh, which is going to be a dream come true for me. Uh, being one of the one of the uh, best bands that I remember, and uh, to see Paul Rogers sing like that is going to be amazing. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, it's uh, I got a I got a good summer coming up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And um, and yeah, when you said that you will try some new singers for Aerosmith, were you serious or was it a trick to scare Tyler and make him go back? You know. No, I was. We were definitely going to go out with another singer. Yeah, he was serious. I mean, huh? uh, that was. Uh, I mean, the four of us wanted to, wanted to play. Uh, I think that the. The fans, you know, obviously wanted the band together. I uh, wanted to see Aerosmith. I mean, that's what I wanted. I mean, uh, the, but you know, I figured it would be an opportunity for the band to get out there and play some different stuff with uh, a different singer, and uh, it would be what it was. You know, it wasn't going to be Aerosmith, but uh, we weren't going to try either. Yeah. Uh, it was really going to be just uh, uh, kind of a supergroup kind of thing, and. Uh, 
that's why we're thinking of uh, finding somebody that was a, a headliner in his own right, and uh, we can get out there and play. Yeah. Um, like you mentioned, Paul Rogers, like the stuff he did with Queen, in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was that kind of thing. Okay. And, uh, it would be, uh, you know, because I mean, you know, we weren't going to sit around and wait for two years, but uh, Stephen decided to uh, come back, and uh, he's he's looking really good. He's feeling good. He seems really happy, and he really wants to get out there and play. So there it is. Yeah, it's good. I know there wasn't any kind of like, uh, well, if I say this in the press, maybe it'll come back. It wasn't any of that stuff. I mean, you know, I just, just call it as I see it, you know. Okay, okay. And uh, and by the way, have you tried some new singles from that time? Did you have some rehearsal with uh, another guys? We, we never got that far. Okay. And um, and yeah, right in the middle of this turmoil, uh, as you said, uh, Tyler came on stage with your solo band, Joe Perry Project, in New York City for Walk This Way. So was it like really spontaneous, like you didn't know? Yeah. I mean, that was he was the last person I expected <laughs> to show up. You know what I mean? Uh, he's even said in the press that he hasn't even, he hasn't even listened to my solo record. Uh, so I did not expect him to show up, but obviously it was a, a planned thing because he came in during the encore. Um, so he, he, he didn't come to watch the, the show. Yeah. Uh, he, he basically came to, to make the announcement that he wasn't leaving Aerosmith, you know, and uh, that's what he did because he left before the show was over. So I didn't even get a chance to talk to him. Okay. You know, but I, I thought the fans would uh, like to see him come up on stage and uh so i said what the hell it's you know do you want to come up and sing and uh and he said yeah and uh and uh that was it that's all we talked about and, uh that was you know and i didn't hear from him afterwards it was no like uh you know but i think it was all planned and you know he just wanted to get up there and uh make sure that uh, people knew he wasn't leaving Aerosmith. Yeah, yeah. He just wasn't going to sing with us for two years. <laughs> okay, okay. It was kind of a spectacular way to, to do a, a statement, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and know that everything's all right. Uh, basically, what the French fans should expect in June in Paris, you know? Yeah, well, I think we're going to... I know we're going to play... This, it's going to be a show that's uh, a long time coming been way too long since we played in Paris and uh but I look at every show now as if it's the last one um uh, I've said that many times in the press I mean I've uh said that uh 15 years ago um uh, I, I just know how delicate life is and uh how uh uh you know things that you used to be able to count on you just can't And so uh, I play like it's going to be the last one, and uh, the audience gets the benefit of that. So uh, believe me, when we hit Paris, we're going to be rolling. Okay, okay. And uh, and yeah, and what about the set list? Will it be a bit of everything, like you did on the last Euro Tour three years ago, or will you come with something special, like playing an entire album or doing like a a set of lots of old song for the 70s like you did on the Gotham move or, or live at the joint you know oh yeah what, oh, would... what I would what I would like to do is play some some of the songs off of the album some of our more popular albums that we never played live yeah uh, there are you know there are a lot of songs that we've it just never were in the set list uh, you know we obviously will play some of the hits that, that people will want to hear But I think that it would be really interesting to hear uh, hear the band play some of the songs that uh, we just ne never played. You know, when we uh, went out there, it's almost like why bother making a new record when we have all these uh, great rock songs that never got played before. Um, so uh, anyway, I'll, all I can say is that uh, that's that's my point of view. I can't say what the other guys want to do. Um, But, uh, you know, I'll okay. get in there and kick and scream and put down my my uh, uh, my point of view and, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay. 
It should, it should be cool, you know, it should be fresh if you, if you do that, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. I think that, uh, uh, you know, playing uh, with, with uh, my own band, we've mm -hmm. done that a couple of times. We've played some songs that would be uh, considered B-list songs, Aerosmith songs some of my favorites that we never played live and uh, the audience just really enjoyed it. So uh, hopefully that will be the case and uh, when we come over and play with Aerosmith.